I made a white pizza with prosciutto, actually with speck because it's smoked prosciutto, onions, mozzarella, and some nice mascarpone dolloped on top. That's my secret. And Jules made a pepperoni pizza a la nonna, nonna style because it's squared. Mm -hmm. So we're going to eat that. So this is the pepperoni pizza. It looks so delicious. We usually don't make pepperoni. Yeah, so never. We but we've been homemade craving homemade pizza pepperoni. and we're like, let's get some pepperoni. And this is a nice pizza in bianco. Look how delicious it is. Like I said, there's some speck, which is the smoked prosciutto. There is some mascarpone dollops on top, as you can see, which is a trick that makes it so good. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Mm. The mascarpone is delicious. I have some even Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and it's like in a white sauce at the bottom. So it's like sort of like a garlicky base. That means no tomato sauce when it's in Bianco. That just means white. And of course I have onions on top because I love onions, I'm just obsessed. Oh, look how good this is. The mascarpone gets creamy. Mmm. Pizza party, guys. <laughs> Aww. Kisses from dad. Today we are going to visit my mom because I haven't seen her in like honestly two months I think it's been. <laughs> Luna right now is so upset because Jules just went into this Baskin Robbins. We got her her favorite ice cream, German chocolate cake. This is like the only Baskin Robbins around that has it. We had to call ahead. So we're getting her her favorite ice cream. We're gonna give it to her. Luna's yeah, happy to visit grandma, yeah. Yes, Luna. She's gonna run around in the backyard, yeah. She hears a birdie singing, it's a cardinal. The red cardinal. It's so cute. So sweet. Yeah. Everything is dense like hell. Bella's visiting Luna! Hi Bella! Hi Bella! Hi Bella! Hello! 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 So today is the Orthodox Easter and my boyfriend is Russian Orthodox so he celebrates today. It is basically a week after our Catholic Easter and we can't be together with his family otherwise we of course would be with his mom and dad. And look how beautiful these eggs are that Nikita's mom gave me. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty for Easter. You usually say in Russian, Christos vas Chris, when I said that to her on the phone. Sorry if my accent is bad. She's really happy. So it's always nice to celebrate. I love to celebrate any occasion, so to be able to have two Easter's makes me super happy. So I was just informed that this is called Kulich, right? That's correct. Kulich? Say it, you say it. Kulich. And then the XB stands for? Christos was Chris. Ah, oh, see you said it so nice. I said it in my vlog, but I probably butchered it. <laughs> Okay. Look how pretty. They're beautiful. So I'm trying this delicious pasca. This is the Russian Easter cake and it seriously looks like a lot like a panettone because we use this wrapping too for it. And you can tell it's very high and dense and moist. It is this delicious moist cake. This nice icing. Mikita says that's his favorite part too. Look how beautiful. So I love this cake. Now I'm going to be craving this. <laughs> now I'm going to crave this every Easter. What a pretty sunset, wow. After the rain. Going, we're going to go see Nono? We're going to go see Nono? Yeah! <laughs> okay guys, my dad with some more words of wisdom. Hey guys, today is uh, May 2nd. Uh, we've been in quarantine for a while. Thank you for those lovely uh, items you baked for me. <laughs> and uh, thank you for bringing my little Luna. Aww. Luna baked, yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so when we get home, I'm going to make some beautiful carbonara. It's delicious. I have the recipe. I will link it down below. The only thing I do that is not traditional is I add a little bit of garlic. That is definitely optional, but I love garlic in anything, so of course I add a tiny bit, but of course if you skip that step, it will be a traditional carbonara. You need, well you really need guanciale, but I like pancetta better because it's less fatty. I'm not a huge fan of all the fat. It's not for health reasons, it's just a taste thing. Oh, Luna's ears in the way. <laughs> so yeah, so it's basically like essentially a bacon and egg pasta really, but a good carbonara is one of my favorite pastas. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wanted to scare you. <laughs> That's carbonara. Okay, I have the exact recipe linked in my description box, so check it out. I did this recipe a long time ago, so I have the written recipe on my blog, and I have the YouTube video. So check it out for this delicious carbonara. So my sister is doing her balcony and her boyfriend Dan is helping her set it up. This is so nice because this is what it looked like before <laughs> with Nikita's food as a model. This is an after. And this is Dan putting it in. My heavy bed. So these are from Ikea actually. And how much are they per square foot? Uh, they're $22 for a box of nine. $22 for nine. So nine square feet because each yeah. one of them is about approximately almost one square foot. And that's Canadian. Look, wow, look how easy they're snapping and look at he's... Just gonna put it up yeah. there. Under and on top really, so. Honestly guys, it's You can use a mallet. Wow. But I just he's just doing his it. hands, yeah. I'm so excited. Like, this is step one of the pro process because I figure since we're in quarantine, I want to make my space look as cute as possible. Yeah. So I've been very inspired by Pinterest, <laughs> yeah. inspired by YouTube and Pinterest, and yeah. I'm gonna build my balcony. I'm doing a balcony. Awesome. Makeover. Okay. So I'll, I will show you guys the final, final product, but this is just halfway through. This is it. And it yeah. looks really cute. And they also have like a brown color that looks like wooden, but yeah, I really, like I, like the color. Color. I like the gray. It matches the railings anyway, so it's yeah. Good. But both of them are gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys the final product. I also ordered some furniture from Home Depot. We should be shipping um, in pieces, I guess, over the next couple of weeks. So this is my little baby. This is my project right now, and I want to make it as cute and cozy as possible. My vibe is very neutral, but I also want to add a pop of color. I would prefer like a pastel pink or pastel blue. I'm trying to go for like neutrals and pastels, and very whimsical, very um, French. What is it? What's that thing that Mom always shabby says? chic? Very shabby chic. Very French country. Cute. So, very cute. Turns out. I'm so excited. Woo. Is anyone familiar with this Hello Panda? I got some flavors when I went shopping because I saw it the other day. <laughs> you didn't want to be seen. <laughs> You're gonna say you can't film me, right? No, you can't post it. <laughs> so I got this Hello Panda, and honestly, the strawberry flavor is so delicious. Have you guys ever had one of these things before? It almost tastes like a cracker. Mmm, crunch on the outside, and then inside is the cream. Mm, these are so good. This reminds me of being in elementary school and eating my friends snacks when they would have these. They were amazing. Perfect. What is this? So it's milk with ice amazing. and then it's the coffee foam. You're basically making a creamy coffee with the instant coffee, sugar and water. And it becomes frothy and then before you drink it, you're supposed to mix it up. So Jules just made this for us, the Insta famous coffee. Super Let's try. Whoa. Cheers. Cheers. Ta -da. I have no idea how to eat this. <laughs> Bless you. Oh my God. Bless you. Oh, and I also added a little bit of masala into the milk at the bottom. Wow. Just to be extra That's just to be extra. Bourgeois. Extra bougie or boozy? Bourgeois. <laughs> Okay, so we had that Dalgona coffee there, that instant coffee froth that everyone's been making, and I'm not that enthused about it, guys. Not for anything, but I've had better things. And this is my version of Dalgona coffee, the Italian version. And basically what we are going to be doing is making a zabaione and putting it on top of some espresso or some Italian coffee. This is so much better. I have a zabaione recipe, which I can link below, but basically it is one to one to one. So in this case, I'm using two egg yolks, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of this Marsala wine. This is Cremovo, the Spirone brand, and I really love this one, especially for making zabaione or something sweet. So just take those ingredients and give it a quick whisk to incorporate. I'm doing this with the wrong hand, so don't mind me. And then once they're incorporated, we're going to pop this over a water bath or double boiler right on top. And we're going to whisk non-stop until this is a frothy cream. Can you see how fluffy that is? There's no scrapes of the raw egg yolk. It is all cooked and frothy and ready to go. Delicious. our hot espresso and now we're going to put some zabayone on top. Oh, you maybe have to be careful. This measures the oxygen level on Mars and starts at 0% with another white marker and one more goes on the... <laughs> <laughs> 
Is this better than the Dalgona coffee? <laughs> What's the Dalgona coffee? The one that you had the other day. 1,000%. Are you kidding? <laughs> that tasted like... Uh, Not as good. No. Very, so very bitter it. and sandy. That's much better. <laughs> Okay, and just so you can see what this actually looks like, this is the espresso and the zabaione. How delicious. So this is my version, my Italian version of Dalgona coffee. This is the reality of grocery shopping in this time. Jules and I are going because we don't trust the guys to go. Luna, I hate going. This gives me so much anxiety. Okay guys, we are doing our grocery shopping haul. Jules and I have a system here where we spray everything down with alcohol. These things that we don't have to spray and waste the alcohol, I'm washing with soap, so I'm just doing a system where I wash some fruit, put it with soap and everything else. We have to be very clean. Every single item that goes in the fridge, we spray really well with alcohol because the germs can last in the fridge for a long time, according to Jules. <laughs> Spent two hours in the grocery store, and now we're spending another two hours to put this away. Luna, does anyone else have a little puppy during their quarantine? Luna has brought so much love and joy to our lives, guys. The tricky part is, is that her nails are actually getting quite long and we don't like to cut them, honestly. We like to have somebody else cut them, but that's not possible, so what we do, she loves kissing so much that one of us has to kiss her and the other one has to cut her nails as she's kissing us so that she's distracted and doesn't complain. That is the only way we can cut her nails. <laughs> Otherwise she gets too upset. So if you have to cut your dog's nails, a good trick is to distract them with something they really like, like maybe treats, letting them lick. I saw someone let them lick peanut butter off their forehead so that they can cut their nails. But Luna loves a kiss, so one of us kisses her and the other one cuts the nails. It's a beautiful day today, so we are going on a walk in the neighborhood. <laughs> Poor Luna doesn't like to get a bath. My baby. So we, gave her, honey we gave her some honey the other day because she wasn't feeling that good. Which is actually a good idea for dogs if they ever get hurt yeah, to give them a little like of honey. I honestly think it helps a yeah. lot. But, look at but, now, but it went a lot on her chest and now she's holding on for dear life. Luna. She looks like a little baby. <laughs> she's saying, help me dad, help me, but he's not helping you, Looney. Sorry, he betrayed you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that you want to eat food? This is what Luna does when she's hungry, which is very rare because she always has food around, but the few days that her bowl's empty, she scratched. Okay, I feed you. I give you food, okay? Give me the paw. Aww. Good girl. Okay. If you're wondering where little Luna is today, she's under here. She oh made a little God. hood and look for herself, and now she's sleeping. Okay, it's too bright in here for her. Yeah, she's gonna sleep. <laughs> okay, so we have our nice pizza frita, the fried pizza dough, and then we have our tomato sauce. This is just the whole tomatoes that we blended up with a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and that's pretty much it. You just want a nice clean tomato sauce. A little bit warm. I chopped up a little bit of basil. I tried to salvage whatever we had left because basil is so nice on these. And of course, guys, you know the stracciatella here, which is just pulled mozzarella and cream, basically, what is on the inside of burrata. Mm. Stracciatella is so good, and it is from our neck of the woods. Bari! <laughs> the Puglia area. So it's delicious. So we're putting the tomato sauce, and we're gonna put the cheese and the basil. We're not cheap with the tomato sauce. Yeah. Well, look at this, guys. Homemade. This is pretty much the, the heart of the burrata. Yeah, the inside of the burrata. Cuore di burrata, which is stracciatella. Mm. It's so easy to make. I, too bad Lee forgot to film me making it, but maybe we'll make it oh, again. Oh, yeah? Making the actual days. mozzarella, yeah. Maybe one day I'll have to film well, I didn't recipe. make it homemade, but... No, you know what I mean. <laughs> I just took pretty much... Yeah. Open genie. With, with a little, yeah, yeah. little sprinkle of basil. Babe. Mmm. Heaven. It is 11 o'clock at night, and I've been going to bed early lately, so this feels pretty um, late for me. <laughs> but I'm making the magnolia pudding recipe. As you can see, I'm getting started here. It all calls for is vanilla wafers, some bananas. I'm adding slivered almonds because that is my personal addition, but you guys can add whatever you like. And here's the cream, which is just with whipping cream, vanilla pudding mix, and sweetened condensed milk. It makes it sweeter as well. So you don't add any sugar, of course, to the whipped cream. And I'm just gonna be layering this, making a trifle, and I'll show you guys what it looks like later today, or maybe even tomorrow in the light of day. But yeah, the only thing I'm adding extra is slivered almonds because I think that a little crunch in this would be nice, and I love, I was gonna say I love nuts. <laughs> and I love slivered almonds. Okay, good night. 
So here's the final product. This is the banana pudding. It looks really good. I'm excited to try it. And this is the mini strawberry one. And I think it came out cute as well. So let's see how it is. This is the Magnolia bakery recipe. Guys, I love this nail color. It is so sheer, opaque, and also neutral, so it looks really nice. It is, in my opinion, one of the most perfect nudes because it just goes with everything. It is so simple. It is, of course, a rosy toned nude, but I just simply love it. You can see how much I love it because this is pretty much done, so I'll link this down below. But this is my favorite color, and it is called Put It In Neutral, and this is exactly what it is. It is such a neutral color. I bought a backup of this before this this whole pandemic started so thankfully I have a backup but I really love this color these pierogi are so delicious if they're not called pierogies I know I think in our Poland video I would always say pierogies but pierogi just means more than one so these pierogi are so good they're filled with cabbage Lucy made them or should we say Lucina made them my boyfriend's and mom. they're so good they're delicious guys homemade mm. pierogies we got a little taste of Poland oh my gosh guys you know how much we missed these pierogies they're in so Poland good. Oh, see, I said again, pierogies. <laughs> the pierogi in Poland, we miss them. They're so good. <laughs> I'm like watching you. Mm -hmm. I asked Lucy for the recipe for the dough, so maybe Jules and I will be making them too. Yes. Mm -hmm. With some potatoes, because if you guys know me, I love my potatoes. Potato pierogi, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just love real homemade pierogi. The store-bought ones can't even compare. Did you mess up my bed to climb to the top? <laughs> Looney. Guys. How cute is this shirt? Written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. I got this for my little boo. <laughs> because he loves Quentin Tarantino. I think he's one of your top three directors, right? Definitely. <laughs> Cheers. And good morning. Uova in purgatorio, which basically, it sort of looks like eggs are stuck in a weird purgatory space. And I'm going to be serving this with some fresh bread and olive oil on top of the bread and inside this is just the tomato sauce that we had left over from making that pizza frita so it's really good if you don't have enough tomato sauce to make a pasta dish but you don't know what to do with it this is a great breakfast this is Nikita's breakfast because you guys know I love to have a sweet breakfast guys this is the finished product this has a little bit of that stracciatella cheese on top so that basically the inside of burrata mozzarella and cream I put a little bit of parmesan and some fresh basil so how to make this is basically a little bit of tomato Tomato sauce, whatever seasonings you have in your tomato sauce is fine. You cook the tomato sauce until it's starting to bubble, then I always put it on a low heat and I crack the eggs inside, but usually I crack the eggs separately, make sure there's no shells or yucky bits, and then I place the eggs inside the hot sauce and I let that go until the eggs are cooked to my liking. You can place a lid on this as well so that the tops get nice and cooked. And that's basically all there is to it. It's very, very simple and easy. You almost don't need a recipe, but if you guys would like one, please let me know. If you guys would like a recipe for anything you see me making, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to film one for you. But yeah, this is basically eggs in purgatory, Italian style. Doesn't that look so fresh and good? Yum. Delish. Yummy. And now we do the scarpetta, which in Italian means little shoe. I don't know why it's called that, but you basically scoop up the sauce in your plate, or in this case, in your pan and you eat it. Buongiorno! Margareti. <laughs> Margareti. <laughs> True to your shirt. <laughs> True to the Quentin Tarantino. There you go. Quentin Quarantino. Quentin Quarantino. This is Quentin Quarantino reporting live. <laughs> <laughs> I joked to Nikita that if we have a baby in quarantine, it's going to be called Quentin Quarantino. <laughs> Quarantino. Quarantina or Quarantino? Quarantino. Corn tortillas are in the works. This one puffed over nicely, so Jules is just gonna keep on going. So I'm just rolling out these flour tortillas. Ta da! Okay, so it's Cinco de Mayo. I made some ground meat, Julia made some fried shrimps, we have homemade queso, we have some cheeses, sour creams, rice, coleslaw salad, Jules' corn tortillas, my flour tortillas. Yum! Happy Cinco de Mayo! She's so beautiful. Hi. So nice, so nice. I like, I like. <laughs> Thank you. I love these gassy okay, drinks. Guys. So what are you gonna say? I just need to know the context first. Is it about board games? Yes. <laughs> no luck with this game. 
No, not today. We were gonna pick up a board game, but the store is closed. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute cuddling her dad today. She doesn't want to wake up. So before dad works, she's cuddling him. Very sweet. <laughs> My little Luna, she's such a sweetie. She's such a sweetie. I hate this and can't wait until it's over. Let's go outside for the walk, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Good girl, good girl. She let me put it on her today. That's a good baby. Good girl. Then this side, no complaints. Good girl. You look so cute. Can't put that up anyway, because I swear, so... It's not a swear, I'll beat it. Right. It's a Russian it's swear. It's a Russian swear. Blotch. It's a bad Russian swear. <laughs> Love, you. Love you. It is May. If the weather continues like this, I honestly think I'm going to just put up my Christmas tree. Because I'm so tired of this. It's like extremely windy. Oh god, it looks awful. Never in my life have I seen Canada look like this in May. I made some cow soy soup today, guys. It's delicious. It's really good. I didn't have the Chinese flat egg noodles, but I use rice noodles instead, and it's still a good substitution. I made the beef version, and yeah, super yummy. There's this restaurant called Pie in Toronto here, and I've been craving this cow soy. So I found their recipe for chicken cow soy, and I found some other recipes online, and I kind of just winged it a little bit as well and made my own thing. I've never really made Thai soup before, and it actually came out really good considering I didn't have a few ingredients, but with some substitutions, Institutions all went well. I don't think I could ever make this exact soup again, <laughs> but I could always make it as similar as it gets. I just feel like I did a lot of things by eye, but it's really delicious. So I highly recommend cow soy soup if you guys have never had it from a Thai restaurant. It is phenomenal. The number one thing I was craving was sushi, so thank you, babe, for getting me delicious sushi. Yum! Love you. Love you. And for doggy Mother's Day, because I am a dog mom, he got me these beautiful peony flowers. They're so pretty. I will show you them obviously when they open up a bit more because right now they're little bulbs. I love them like this. I think they're so pretty. And this is literally my favorite flower. So he gets bonus points for remembering that. My two favorite flowers are peonies and ranunculus and also of course roses. I love you, thank you. <laughs> I also made a delicious pizza. Today was supposed to be a pizza day, but it turned into a pizza and sushi day. I'm gonna put some arugula on top of this. It's gonna be so delicious. This is a pizza bianco. That's my favorite, a white base. As you guys have seen, I think probably in this vlog there's already a pizza day, but for me it feels like it's been a while. Pizza is probably one of my favorite foods. <laughs> Jules made one. You have another one in the oven too. Mm -hmm. Jules made pizza again alla nonna, the square base pizza. Hers is with cheese, onions, and sausage. And mine has bacon, some potatoes, some onions, of course, because I'm an onion freak, and mascarpone. Mm, this looks so delicious. It's delicious. So let's cut into it. Ta-da! This is the final pizza, and we're drinking a nice ripasa. Love you. Love you. Mm, it's actually really good. Yummy. And this is the pizza, you see, with all the arugula underneath. Yummy. So when I made this tart, I actually repurposed the sushi container. How perfect does this fit? And it has the little lid and everything, so you can just... Obviously, of course, I washed it. But it's the perfect little pie... What would you call this? A pie carrier, I guess? It's called a pie hole, you know? <laughs> to shut your pie... <laughs> <laughs> I think Jules is literally losing. Look at Attica. There's a spot in your face. Attica's always there. Look at Luna though. Joni, hello. She's so cute. I've been craving tuna and Nikita Barasi's tuna steaks, and I think I cooked it perfectly. Let's cut into it so we can see. This is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Ta da! And then I made this little marinade, this little dip, and it looks delicious. What the hell is this? Mm. You can't be serious. Mm. Mm. Yummy? Oh my god. So good? Oh my god. Very yummy. Nikita approved. There's no way this is allowed. 
<laughs> this is Jules yesterday. I'm never playing Scythe ever again. Never. And now today, she's the first one who actually wants to play. Hey guys, you see this guy? He's always escaping the can, right? This is his outfit that you'll always see him in. This is uh, my dad's shirt my and dad's shorts. shorts. A love hate. It's more of a love hate. <laughs> She'll win soon and then we'll see. Watch, today she's gonna win. Yeah, okay. And I'll film it too. Guys, Julia finally won in Scythe and she's really happy. We've played so many times, guys, over a dozen times and this is her first win, so she's so happy. And yeah, now she's not gonna give up anymore, right? <laughs> Never gonna give what? you up, never I gonna lose that. I'm coming second a lot, so let's not make you sound like a Yes, girl. Jules like, wants me to let you guys know that she's coming second many times. She hasn't always been last, but now she's finally won. So. so guys, who has won the most? Nikita. <gasps> Nikita. Oh, you don't wanna say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I showed them the list. Are you kidding? <laughs> Nikita's won the most by one. I love it. With Russia, with Russia. Wow, with Russia. Your last Dude. win. Let's put it this way. Yesterday doesn't count because you got lucky. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, he's talking a big game right now. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I got lucky, so guys, apparently. Lucky. As if you're not lucky. Yeah, should we show your... Where's your score for today? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, this is it. Jules, 83, me, 59. <laughs> enjoy, baby. Enjoy. The big winner. Ha <laughs> <laughs>